The 24mm f1.4 DG was the third prime lens presented on Sigma's Global Vision lineup back in 2015. A new design made to surpass any autofocusing, wide angle, large aperture prime. It borrows a lot of the ergonomics from Canon's L series, despite the much better optical performance, all for half the EF lens price. At 85 by 90 mm of 665 grams of mostly rubberized plastic and glass, the first thing we notice on Sigma's Global Vision R 24mm DG is the design, nearly identical to Canon's Mark II L series and a pleasure to use. There's simply no way around it. It's bigger at the front to support the large filter tread to avoid vignetting, and the rest of the body shortens to the lens mount, making it streamlined in hands the same design for all 24mm f1.4 lenses. At the front, the large manual focusing ring is excellent to enhance traction when adjusting focus, just like other art lenses, also supporting the full-time manual operation. Inside, Sigma adds HSM, hypersonic motor, that quietly drives the all-internal AF group to lock focus, despite being significantly slower than Canon's, as always the reason to stick to the first-party lens. It's interesting to see how the half-length focusing path on Sigma's 24DG takes twice the time it requires Canon to look focus on the L-series, thus indicating a lens four times lower, impossible to recommend for journalists or those working with action. So this is still the benefit at Canon, the best AF performance, as expected from the first-party lens. And that's it! At the front, the Sigma sports a plastic 77mm filter tread that fits right above the first optical element, and it comes supplied in the box with a lens hood. At the rear, the metal mount doesn't sport a rubber gasket, and nothing is declared about a proper weather-resistant scheme. And overall, this is a nicely put-together lens, despite the usual half-price price tag from Sigma, the obvious competition from top-of-the-line alternatives. But as we'll see on its images, it simply can't compete in image quality. It's on a league of its own, and Canon must update their 24L Mark II lens in order to supply the professional market with a similar IQ performance. With a 15 elements in 11 groups optical formula, sporting three synthetic fluorite piece, amazing four low dispersion glasses, and a pair of spherical lenses, what the Sigma 24mm f1.4 DGHSM delivers optically, it's stunning. The best wide-angle prime lens I've ever used at this large aperture of the f1.4 spec. It is gorgeous, really. Even wide open, the resolution is flawless throughout the frame, making little difference in stopping down to enhance clarity. It's impossibly high has, even at f1.4. Compared to Canon, this is a much improved performance, excellent for nighttime shots of street photography, astrophotography, or specialty interior design shots, impossible on Canon's Mark II series, but now a reality from Sigma. Also impressive is the vignetting at just minus 3 stops wide open, compared to Canon's massive minus 5 stops head, picture perfect at Sigma as soon as f2, again unheard of from a large aperture lens, here costing half the price of its high-end peers. Good is also the chromatic aberration and extra aberrations, due to impressive aspherical pieces, so is the near-perfect geometry, great to shoot straight lines to enhance the subject's focus. And a final impressive touch is the saturated colors are in high contrast, a signature from Canon L series that is here replicated on Sigmas. It is excellent to shoot everyday subjects and be presented with impactful, colorful images of landscapes, nature, cityscapes and even creative portraits that is the reason to be of a large full-frame cameras, being much better capturing device than today's smartphones. So if you're looking for flawless wide-angle files at the impossibly large f1.4 aperture, this is certainly it. While it clearly won't compete at the AF performance, Canon still dominates all markets when it comes to autofocusing precision and reliability, the Sigma can be seen as an alternative for picture-perfect images. So if wide-angle and large aperture images are your thing, just add this awesome lens on your kit and nice shooting.